Brakte Hawa, Brakte Hawa Shai, Brakte Hawa, Brakte Hawa Shai, Kahalai and Wahawa, Allah Hainel Yahawa, Bashem Yahawa Shai, Bashem Kokadash, giving all praises and honor to our power, Yahawa, Bashem Yahawa Shai, Bashem Kokadash, and giving double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who well, peace and salutations to the elect, the first fruits of choice is part, that whom the Lord will have mercy upon these times, starting with your Ashim, with your heads. Or heat, as I see, <laughs> and which are your prophets, Nabiayim, all right, who are preaching this word, who have the new song, you know, and um, our insanity truth, um, feeding the sheep, okay, uh, who are Shalom to the one third, the rest of the believers, the men, the children, whom the Lord um, gave the faith to believe in this truth, all right. And giving a shalom to the Israelite foreigners like unto the speckled bird that looked like the heathen nations where they've been scattered to. But lineage go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Okay, which are the fathers or the children of the promise. All right, in whom these vows are upon. Okay. So shalom. Shema Mafa, this name of Mafa, from the Great Millstone Plain Tables Camp, located here in the city of Philadelphia. Above Ain Lamadi Ma'it, come a lesson little or we lesson. Zalamadium Hayah Baha Baria. This lesson be in Hebrew, Dapalath, which is a prayer. Okay, which is the Holyum or Psalms chapter 138 and 7. Okay, Psalms 138 and 7, which reads, Though I walk in the midst of trouble, thou wilt revive me. Thou shalt stretch forth thine hand against the wrath of mine enemies, and thy right hand shall save me. All right, great assuring words from the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh um, Shai, you know, uh, written down, okay, by our forefather, um, which, uh, let's see, I believe this is a, a Psalm of David, okay, you had different writers that had different Psalms and such, you know, that's in the collection of the Psalms, okay, and uh, we, of course, have it new. You know, to, of course, uh, put in uh, remembrance and to pray. Okay. So, um, you know, Brother Mayum Machana in the camp uh, here in Philadelphia, uh, Great Millstone Plain Tables Camp. You know, he uh, he actually told me that he, he prays uh, the Psalms 138 uh, every day, I believe. So um, I was like, what 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 prayer is that? <laughs> what psalm is that? And I believe I have one of them, from my, if I'm not mistaken, already done. Uh, which it might be the ver third verse, which reads, "In the day when I when I cry, cried, thou answers me and strengthened me, which strengthened my soul." You know, um, which is a good prayer to say as well. But um, you know, the first one I had the spirit on to do, which is this one, which is a verse seven. So just going and breaking it down to new, all right? The first word is um, which is though, all right? Um is though, all right? Alak, which go back to halak, which is alak means I walk, all right? Ba, korab, ba is in, as the prefix. Korab means mitz. I'm in the middle, right? Tazara. Tazara means trouble. Like if you say Yaquab Tazara, it's Jacob trouble. All right. Uh, Tazara is trouble or uh, going into uh, distresses. Okay. In which uh, we are within, you know, of course, our captivity. You know, we're in the midst um, of trouble. And, you know, our um, our walk is in, is within it. You know, we need Yahweh Shemel you know, Shai. All right. Because every day. You know, um, you know, we got different demons, Rairoth and Chalroth, you know, uh, evil spirits th that bring troubles and such. You know, but as it says, Tha Chaya Niya, which goes into Tha Chaya, goes into life or live or revive. All right, bring me to life. Tha Tha Chaya Niya, Niya is me. Chaya is life, living, revive, all right? So thou wilt revive me. Ill is against, all right? Op is the wrath or anger. A yub, ya, 
A yub is enemy. Yub is, I mean, a yub is enemy or ah yub, pronounced. Ya is my. Tha shalach, thou stretch forth or send forth. Okay. Yad ka. Yad is hand. Ka is thy or your. You. Okay. Wa tha wa sha ya ai na ya. A way to say save. All right. Um, which you have and shall save me. Yum yun ka. Yum yun goes to right, like bun, bun yun yun is son of the right. So yum yun is just right. Ka is thy. Okay? So you have it. Thy right hand shall save me. All right, or thy hand and shall save me thy right hand. Because the Hebrew gets directly to the point. All right. So all together, um, alak, bakurab, tazara, tha, chayanaya, il, ap, ayabya, tha, shalach, yad, ka, wa, tha, wa, sha, ya, ay, naya, yum, Yun ka. Okay. So there it is all the way in Hebrew. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, thou wilt revive me against the wrath of my enemies. Thou stretched forth thy hand shall save me, thy right hand. Or right, thy right hand shall save me. I'm just reading it and, uh, how it's broken down in Hebrew. Start off your prayer. Most high in the name of his only God, Son, please, please, please hear my prayer now when you say it all together. All right. Um, ah, lak, ba, korab, tazara, tha, chayanuya, il, ap, ayab, ya, tha, shalach, yadka, wa, tha, wa, sha, ya, ay, na, ya, yum, yanka. All right. And you repeat this, and that's how you're going to, you know, get better. You know, through the spirit of the Yahweh Hashem, now shy fast and growing closer to him, we're going to make you better at, you know, memorizing it through the spirit, you know. But this is a good thing to pray. Give a tendency to your prayers and get, draw nigh to Yahweh Hashem, now shy. Hope you're edified by the lesson. Giving all praise and glory to Yahweh Hashem, now shy. Bashem, Kukudash, the blind, the apostles, other great millstone. Peace and salutation to the elect. Shalom until next time.